Alright guys, let's see if the uh, starter generator works. Hopefully it does. Got the a positive cable and negative cable. So, make sure we're going to do this right. So, let's find out if we get generator. Oh, do you guys see that? We got generator guys. Hey, <laughs> let's get it hooked up on the motor now. We got power. It works. So let's get the sucker boat up on the engine and maybe we'll get it fired up. Maybe pop off a few times. That's a good sign. Really good really really good sign guys. Yeah, starter generator. Well, we got a starter. No, I don't know if the generator works yet. I still got to get a regulator for it. Um, I seen one on Amazon for like 25 bucks, I believe. I got to ship it here. But right now we know we got starter. Um, that's better than nothing, guys, I guess. Um, only thing we can do is just see if we got, see if we got a spark, we got a starter. I can get fuel put in the engine. So now I'll just bolt this sucker up and see what we got. See if she'll pop off or not, guys. So catch you guys later then. Okay guys, we got her back together. Um pulleys on this is a half inch by 37. Probably could go a little bit smaller, 36 I think. Covers all bolted up. Carb's not primed yet. I got the exhaust pointed up, all wired in on the gen starter side of it, not on the field. Uh, relay so I can use my switch here. So I can just do one of these. So you're gonna get a fuel bowl, just give me a second. Alright guys. We're gonna dump fuel in the car now. Wanna get her popped off. Yes, that's gonna work. Let's just dump some in the top. That looks good enough.
fuel tank time. Hey guys, what's up? Um, got the motor moved into a different location, away from the heat. Um, in the previous part, you've seen it starting up on uh, just on prime gas. I uh, just want to do some clarification here, guys. I had a few people ask me, have I learned anything by screwing with things that I don't know yet? Well, to answer that, I do know a lot about lawnmower engines, but, you know, not everybody knows everything about these, uh, about every motor every lawnmower engine out there on the market a lot of engines like the Maytags the old Maytags uh, hit and miss engines I don't know anything about those I've seen them I've seen them at uh, a couple of tractor meets I went to but I mean it's been a learning curve it's been interesting I should say to get my hands on to something I don't know anything about you know the motor itself I know how to get it spark fuel air I know that but when it becomes like a part of the system that I don't know anything about it was interesting to learn Zippo helped me out about how to wire in the starter to get it to turn over that's pretty cool and then he has quite a few videos out on this I've watched one of them four or five times to understand how to wire it in so it's all been a learning curve, guys. Not everybody knows everything on, out there on the market. I mean, you guys can act like jerks and assholes, but, you know, we don't know everything. So, I got a fuel can rigged up, or a gas tank off from a self pellet I had. Fuel line hooked to it. So, we're going to see if we can get the sucker to fire up and idle on its own without me priming it. We're going to find out. Well, let's find out, guys. Let's find out together, guys. Um, you guys see here, my clamp set, send you guys in, see the, see the fuel can there and the fuel line, well, it's running all the way down to the engine, so we're going to see if we can get the sucker to pop off on its own, uh, fuel line suck, choke is on, I do not have any linkage hooked up to this, the, uh, this linkage does not work right at this time, so, we're going to try, without priming it, see if we can choke it and get a fire. Nope. She's not going to let me do that. So let's prime her really quick. Let's choke it. Try this. Thank you. 
time, guys. I do not like this. Good. I hear no valve slapping, popping. 
Last noise you can make. Where will pop 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 that take right out when I get in Carberry Bill? Go get my thing. And she died. Well, let's get her restarted up. I'm gonna check the Mac side, see if it was working. muffler guys gotta fix the muffler but there you go that's a running brakes gotta fix the muffler I can get a new one I think they're like 20 bucks the track supply whoo I gotta hear out this garage give me a second let me open the die <sighs> damn but she runs so that's good guys that's good extremely extremely good 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 sign uh, she runs I got a uh, one point 1.8 to 2.3 on the output side of that uh, right uh, gen side, so that's not bad. That means it's got some life on that side. Um, from what I was talking to an old man uh, uptown, he said that's not a bad sign to see that type of low voltage without hooking the battery to it. So without a regulator and a battery hooked on that side of the thing, so that's showing it's got some life to it. Um, carb needs rebuilt. Um, I haven't found a bridge yet that didn't need to touch the carb. So the carb is shot. Needs to be rebuilt. Um, other than that, I think we got a running motor. Sounds good. It's got a lot of power. I mean, it was torquing right out of my hand. So it's a win-win for us. It's not bad for the money I blew. So... I got an upcoming project for this. I'll start it at the beginning of next month. I just want to make sure this engine was going to run before um, I started dumping a lot of a lot of time into my creation. So let me just get my fuel on it. So everything seems good. That's a good sign. I hear no valve popping at all on this motor. It revs up. I have runs fine. I think. Going to have to get a rebuild or just a brand new freaking carb for this. Because if you guys see this. It's a lot of play in that shaft. I don't know if I should just rebuild it or just go get a new carb. <clears throat> um, she's a little wet inside, that's good. 
leaking a little gas right out of the bottom of that car. So, yeah, everything seems normal. I mean, that's all I can say. So, hopefully you guys like this part of this video, this part two of it. Next is getting all lanky hooked up and getting to run. I'll see you guys later then. Have fun. Peace out, man.